All right, let's talk about WCW Nitro for May 1st, 2000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that rendition better. You're right. Uh, May 1st, 2000, Tom Puppet, a uh, longtime dipper, suggested this one. It was a very good idea. But before we get into the episode, let's go over some Observer notes uh, around this time. Uh, This is from the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, April 24th, 2000. The situation involving Mike Awesome and the ECW heavyweight title took several turns over the past week, ending with a unique situation of a WCW and WWF contracted wrestler in a match, if that's what it can even be called, over the ECW heavyweight title in the ECW ring. The legal controversies first appeared settled on April 10th uh, when ECW and WCW came to an agreement where WCW paid ECW a reported six-figure settlement regarding the contract of Mike Alfonso, who is Mike Awesome. I didn't realize that was his last name. I thought his shoe last name was Awesome. This is very upsetting. (laughs) That's not right. (laughs) And agreed to... Bleep that out. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, please, uh, editor, bleep Alfonso. (laughs) Agreed to certain stipulations regarding his portrayal on the Nitro program that evening, and he would drop the ECW title. Alfonso reportedly had a three-year signed contract with ECW and himself denied that to people in WCW, but if ECW had no legal hold on him, there would be no need to reach out, uh, reach an out-of-court settlement and contract buyout on ECW's claim. I can't... WCW gave them six figures for Mike Awesome? Holy fuck. Well, they put him into wow. the main event of the show we're watching, so... That's... Yeah, that's true. Was uh, this either because so... they paid him six figures or because they thought he was worth six figures, so... Maybe a little bit of both. I mean, yeah. they don't. Uh, yeah. So you're talking about this was going on at this time. He came in like January, didn't he? I think he joined mm. in like January. I think it was probably going on for a minute. Uh, the or title when was it? No, maybe. Well, he they didn't. dropped the title on on April 13th, so it was like a month or so before this. Oh, okay. So, no, but Mike Awesome shows up like around beginning of April, maybe. Yeah. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Um, let's see here. Uh, bunch of specifics on their deal. Uh, as to exactly what Awesome would do and how the announcers would handle it. According to ECW sources, two stipulations were violated. The main one is that WCW announcers were to say that Awesome was the ECW champion and had a title defense upcoming that would air Friday on TNN. The other was that Awesome would not do an interview on the show, which he did. The wording of what... <laughs> <laughs> Give up. Paul, <laughs> <he> got work. <laughs> The wording of what Paul Heyman demanded and what was scripted for the WCW announcers to say had has been confirmed as being identical. From watching the tape, appeared Scott Hudson was reading the wording and was cut off by Tony Giovanni. <laughs> That's crazy. Exactly who made that call is unclear, but a call was clearly made since several people after the fact emphasized words to the effect that there was no way WCW was going to plug ECW TV on their first ever New Era Nitro. This led to another round of legal problems, which occupied much of Bischoff's time on April 11th and resulted in Awesome's planned segment on Thunder being canceled and him being taken out of the building. Heyman was aware of before the show started, a clip of Awesome attacking Kevin Nash on Nitro did uh, air on Thunder. So, yeah, a lot of uh, bullshit going on with Mike Awesome and all that. Six figures, and then they fucking jabronied Paul Heyman on commentary. I feel like six figures at the time for them was like nothing. I was like, yeah, all right, yeah, now stop talking to us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's really, what they were yeah, giving the ICP to just come out and hang out. <laughs> yeah, really, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, I, and then they, I think they did the gimmick on SmackDown uh, where Taz came out with the title and lost to Triple H. Uh, but I think something changed there too, where Jr. on commentary said that Taz won the title on a night off. <laughs> <laughs> he won this title in nowhere, really, and I don't know where he came from. <laughs> Easy enough. He's just getting fucked from every end here. <laughs> The May 1st, 2000 uh, Wrestling Observer, uh, Just Incredible, who pay, uh, who Heyman had planned to be ECW champion dating back more than 18 months with the idea of not putting the title on him until he had a national television outlet and being the wrestler that Rob Van Dam would chase in the company's top program, wound up with the title after two more switches at ECW CyberSlam on 422 in Philadelphia. So that was where uh, Dreamer beat Taz for the belt. And then Just Incredible came out and said, you're a pussy, you should fight me. And Tommy Dreamer said, okay. <laughs> and then he lost the belt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Cyber Slam, the name was way ahead of its time, by the oh way. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Like, too ahead of its time. That was like ca- that was catering to the internet before most people had the internet. <laughs> 96 yeah. was the first Cyber Slam. I think that's right. So this was, this was what, 99? Dude, who? Does anybody own this yeah, trademark? Anybody own this trademark? CyberSlam? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they <laughs> have CyberSlam on the network and the logo, but I don't know if that means they own anything with it. I don't mm. know. 
You think they're re-upping the gimmick on SummerSlam every no couple way. years? <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah, they're just hoping nobody else goes. They they, they, they will once somebody goes for it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's true. Uh, the May 8th, 2000 Wrestling Observer Newsletter. We got a bunch of shit here all over. Um, on 5-1, with the largest combined audience watching pro wrestling in more than three months, Raw drew its second highest rating in history, while Nitro drew its lowest rating <laughs> since early, its early stage oh, of the damn. show. So this is, this is this is talking about the the show the week after, I believe. Or no, this is talking oh, okay. about no, this is talking about the show we're watching. Sorry. So the show we watched, uh, Nitro's lowest rating since its early stages of the show. <laughs> uh, the low Nitro first hour showed that uh, the Thunder show killed virtually all casual fan interest in the product, but the diehard stays as evident by very few first hour viewers switching to Raw when the show started. Uh, about 45% of the diehard Nitro audience switched to Raw when Nitro went off the air, and by the time the main event ended, more new viewers had tuned in the Raw uh, than the total number of viewers watching Nitro. <laughs> fucking That's hell. That's fucking insane, man. What the hell? Dude, That's I, crazy. I thought this was insane. Rock versus Shane McMahon drew an 8.23 final quarter. <laughs> Holy <laughs> which, shit. Which drew a 9.10 rating. <laughs> fucking Christ. Yeah, that's yeah. a beating yeah. and a half. Uh, trailing only the second hour on May 10th, 1999, uh, which was, uh, I think, oh, the 8.11 second hour was our second highest in history, trailing only the second hour on May 10th, 1999, which did an 8.42. Nitro's Hogan versus Awesome main event drew at 2.56. <laughs> so, how does that even, <laughs> yeah, I don't even Rock know. Rock and Shane, 8.23. Awesome and Hogan, 2.56. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's fucking unbelievable, man. Yeah, really. Uh... How did. Do- how do you go wrong there? I, we were talking a little bit before the gimmick, like, if you're going to just do that on pay-per-view, if it sucks, it sucks on pay-per-view, and everyone in the world's going to see it suck on TV. Yeah, really. If you know it's going to be bad. I mean, I feel like that's probably what they did most of the time. If They knew it was going to be awful. At least you could build to a little bit, and then, you know, oh, well, we still got 60 bucks out of it. Yeah. But that's, that's, right. a, that's yeah. a tough, yeah. tough pill to swallow, I think, probably. Well, six figures for Mike Awesome. There you go. Sorry about that. I don't even. I don't even know what the mindset was at that time. I can't even imagine the what new it blood was. stuff. Or like, I can't even imagine like, yeah, like throwing away that amount of money for like, like. I mean, really. I mean, what? I love Mike Awesome, but Hell like, yeah. was he really gonna get a six point oh increase in the ratings? Not yet. Like they didn't. Like he came in, he attacked Kevin Nash. He was just beating dudes up. Like well, he never was. No. I mean, like WCW wasn't gonna build Mike Awesome. Aw- Who they build? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they wasn't gonna build anybody. To Billy Kidman is here. Fuck Kid you. Man, yeah, Kidman's getting built at this time. What Kid the Kid Man came out and the ratings plummeted <laughs> up the fucking ground. Kid Man's here for the run, dude. The fuck? <laughs> Uh, I thought this was a a funny little thing. According to Paul Heyman, TNN brought up the possibility of moving the show from Friday to Tuesday, uh, which he said he wasn't interested in because he figures they're going to kick him off of TNN, so there's no point in moving to a new night. (laughs) Fuck off. This was still, this is May of 2000, so it's like, you know, they weren't even in any despair. There was no, like, any smell of them going out of business or there was no smell of them going off TV. Well, um, this was, I think that was, I think it says here that I was, uh, that week, either that week or the week before was the one where Heyman was on TV telling them to throw them off the air and that they were going to give money to the WWF. So I think it was pretty close to that. Right. Okay. Wow. Uh, Heyman is going on the assumption that the court is going to rule against USA and at the point WWF goes to TNN. So I think he is suing them at the time <laughs> as well as talking shit about them on TV and trying to find somewhere else to go. Holy shit. Yeah. Every, everyone is fucking ECW here. And the more this stacks up, oh, here's more ECW shit. FMW ECW re- relationship nearly fell apart this week. <laughs> <laughs> FMW faxed, everyone is fucking ECW here. <laughs> it's, FMW this faxed, is the downfall right here. Yeah. FMW faxed ECW letter upset because Mike Awesome wouldn't be appearing on the shows this week as they had advertised. In the letter, they threatened legal action and ECW assumed it meant against them. That combined with the fact that FMW owes Balls Mahoney either $2,000 or $5,000 for past tours led to ECW not sending either Mahoney or New Jack to Japan as scheduled this week. Uh, FMW stated the whole thing was a misunderstanding and that they were in the letter threatening legal action against Awesome and WCW. So that was it was expected that Jack and Mahoney will appear on the 5-5 FMW show, but only on that show, barring another problem. So the death of W the death of ECW was a lot actually with the, that was probably planned a long time ago. Whenever Paul Lee started working with WWF was like yeah. pretty much that was pretty much it. It was like me, no, yeah, it was just like we knew we were hanging on by a thread and we were gonna ride this as long as we can until this goes to hell. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. basically Paul Lee kind of future proofing himself because he, you know, 
Yeah. It can't last forever. I just think it's funny. FMW fags them a letter and ECW said, yo, fuck you. <laughs> and they were like, no, <laughs> it was not to you. I was sorry about that. <laughs> Paulie hit him with the Craig from South Park Middle Finger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Speaking of lawsuits, the lawsuit involving the infamous ECW fire incident in 95 is scheduled to go to court this week in Philadelphia. <laughs> oh, great. The incident took place at the ECW arena involving Terry Funk and Mick Foley ending up with a flaming chair in the ring and oh, fire. Oh, shit, that one? Yes, fire spread due to kerosene soaked towels and went into the front row and burned fans. <laughs> I forgot about that. That towel just flies just in the flies front row. The That's a fucked up clip. Holy shit. All this happened as the lights were turned off as to set up an angle and caused a stampede towards the exits that resulted in others being hurt. The plaintiffs, Raymond and Teresa uh, Schowitzer, uh, cl- uh, claims he was burned and is seeking restitution for his medical problems. Wow. Took five years to go to court for that. Yeah, that's well. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> the court, court system is crazy, man. I have no idea how the court system Mick works. Mick Foley is in WWE at this point. Yeah, I have no idea. I this think is Terry like, Funk is too. <laughs> their entire careers are nowhere near that anymore. Yeah, it's just like no I don't know. That's crazy. Uh, and last uh, but not least here, I thought James might like this one. Uh, Wizards of the Coast Inc. filed a lawsuit on 323 against WWF Entertainment to keep the WWF from launching game cards that freelance game designer Michael Fitzgerald claims are based on his ideas. The claim is that the WWF has taken key de- design features without permission or license into their game. Wizards is releasing a game with WCW in June. Uh, Fitzgerald had first met with Comic Images, a uh, new, uh, new Joyzy publishing company, about working with WWF and designing a trading card game, uh, and then told them that the game was uh, being opened up to other companies. Uh, he didn't have a contract with WWF, and they received no payment from WWF for his ideas, then pitched it to WCW, who signed a contract with them. Wizards is asking the court to grant a per- permanent injunction against the WWF from releasing this game, uh, which is also scheduled to come out at the same time. So there was even card was game controversy game? at the time. Was there know. ever any game? Uh, yeah, there's a WC- WC- I found this. I found this card game here. I'll send it over. WCW Nitro, the trading card game? I'm assuming I think this that's is the, the one they're talking about. Uh, a two-player yeah, they- starter set. Yeah. yeah. The starter game hurls you and a friend into the ring for intense one-on-one action. Experience all the savage action you see on TV. Only you're the one throwing down bone-crunching, contra- back-breaking moves on your friends. You, <laughs> Jeff- Dude, check this out. The Jeff Jarrett card. Once around, you may strut and get two extra action points. Holy shit. <laughs> Buff Bagwell card. Once around, you may be the stuff and shovel your hand into the deck. Holy shit. That's awesome. That's Those are crazy shit. ass cards. Oh, and we they got moves and stuff. Game. There's move cards. Yeah. We should play this like at your house. <laughs> Do the cards have? Uh, yeah. I don't really understand. I, I guess. I think there's I wrestler cards and then maybe there's move cards on top of that. Like maybe you start yeah, with Yeah, this a looks like more like uh, the DBZ trading card game or Dragon Ball Super Training or game. Or no, something. this is the WCW game, and they came up with it. <laughs> <laughs> There's, I, I see they have the board here or the rule book. Yeah, and it's like, okay, I'm trying to like just look at it, sure. see if I can kind of figure. It. it says when you play a nitro card from your hand, put that. Oh wow, is this like? This was the playing field. The, yeah, yeah, like the, that, this was that like paper the ring. was the yeah the yeah. paper. This is the uh, worst playing field I've ever there's seen. There's a discard pile with Goldberg pointing at it. There's Sting pointing at you, yelling the rules at you. Buff it looks like looking, only the right side up. of each side, or like, yeah, the right side is where you put stuff. The left side is just explaining how to play. Yeah, the whole, the whole <laughs> left half of the game is just words. <laughs> how to win. You win when you've done enough damage to the other player that the other player's deck runs out of cards. Yeah, this is like, uh, okay, like milling. You Like you attack them and they have to mill or something. Put your wrestler card in the wrestler spot. Shuffle the deck and put it oh into the deck. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the number in your wrestler card's lower left corner. Draw that many cards. The player with the most cards in his or her hand goes first. Oh, so could you have like this. so you have like a commander. So you yes. you could you have the buff Bagwell deck commander <laughs> card. Yes. Or oh, yeah. the Jeff Jarrett <laughs> deck. Right. <You> <laughs> and then you would, I think they talk okay. about Goldberg and Sting on that too. So I don't know if there's a limited of that, but there's a bunch of moves. Yeah. It says that's yeah, like, actually like a pretty interesting way to. We should do play this. this. Yeah, I don't know if they have. I, I assume they have starter kits and stuff. This is yeah. like a real Wizards of the Coast game. Yeah, it is. That's right. They were suing WWE about this. Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know. In my head, it's like no way they like actually put this out. <laughs> but I guess, yeah. I guess Magic the Gathering wasn't, didn't pop off until a little later. So like, sure. I guess they were probably looking for stuff to get. They were just trying to get any. Magic the Gathering is crazy, bro. Like oh that and, and Yu-Gi-Oh! When I it's worked still, at the comic oh, they, shop is like nuts. They have it on eBay for five bucks. You can buy it right now. Starter deck? Yeah. 
There's a Miss Hancock shows off card. The referee is distracted until your turn ends. Miss Hancock makes any referee's job difficult. <laughs> Dude, That's there's a Hulk Hogan's <laughs> FUNB card. No way! Is there? <laughs> no yeah. way! Holy show it to you. Hold on, look at this. <laughs> Let me see. Holy! Oh my god, what it's does it say? It's got the quote at the bottom. What does it do? Okay. Um, it says, only Hogan may use this card. Uh, you play it from your hand, discard this card during your turn to draw one card. Uh, and shit. then if it's shuffled into the deck for each card that comes up from your deck for the rest of this attack, you gain one action point. And that's, at the bottom is a Hulk Hogan quiz. It says the NB stands for new blood. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so crazy. Hey, do you that's remember, speaking of card game, I don't know if this is off topic, but do you remember the WWE Raw deal game? I think it was called or WF Raw. I do deal? remember that. Yeah, I do remember. Was that, that the same kind of thing as this or not? Uh, was it similar I think, to this? I, it, I think probably uh, a little similar. Yeah, I think so. Well, that didn't come out around yeah, this time. Right, it was a later. Well, yeah, it was also like time. an uh, online game too. Oh, really? Whoa. Yeah, they had like a PC version. Brett is the like best card? there is. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Tony card? You can only play this if you're Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, someone got like cards signed by the wrestlers. That's pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of these are are uh, like fucking graded PSA. Whoa, yeah. I don't even know who oh, this maybe. is. Maybe I don't know who is it. Former bodyguard. She's Ric Flair's valet. <coughs> Gorgeous George. No, uh, Isa. Isa. A A Y S A. Asia. Asia. Oh, is, That's is Isa. Amazing. Asia. Yeah. Asia was she was supposed to be China. She was Asia. China, yeah. yeah oh, she's wow. Asia. <laughs> How do you spell like that? <laughs> well, China also had a Y. That's why. Yeah, of course. Holy shit, yeah. man! That's crazy. <laughs> they like did not care. No way. They, they just fucking did what they wanted. All right, so we start with the cold open here. Oh yeah. Uh, David Arquette has a chair in a parking lot for some <laughs> yeah. reason. He's just sitting. <laughs> Sitting on a set? I thought it was just a parking lot, but I, I think it was on a set because they cut to... This is not, like, real time. It was earlier in the week or earlier in the day? I yes, it was. It was they wouldn't tell you. This movie. They didn't <laughs> yeah, tell you, I had no. no idea. They said the name of the movie at one point, but I don't know they what it was. They do say it later. I, I wrote I it down it. once I get there. Yeah, later on. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so David Arquette says, this title don't even fit me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then Courtney Cox is here. Courtney Cox says, well, it's because you're not a wrestler. This you is so not, stupid. This you are is not a so fucking stupid, David. Or a champion. What the fuck are you doing, you dumbass guy? David's a lot of world champion, baby. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I first saw this, I thought David Arquette was in a wheelchair because he got like beat up by some WCW guys or something. No, he's just in a steel yet. chair. <laughs> yeah. uh, it shows a recap of David Arquette winning the WCW title on... Thunder. A taped episode of Thunder. Yes. That's so crazy. That we is talked crazy. about that before, but that's crazy, man. We uh we did uh, review that show and it was fucked. So you, if you haven't heard that, definitely go listen to it. Yeah, Kimberly Page looks sexy as hell. That man. is the Kimberly oh Page God. in the referee outfit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is unbelievable, that's crazy. man. God bless you, woman. Whew. Uh cold open number two. Uh <laughs> David Arquette and the new blood show up to the venue in yeah, a limo. Was, there was no intro video, just a big Nitro logo with fire behind it after the cold yes. open. So no, like, because they know, got more video packages. Well, to show yeah, you. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Arquette, DDP, and Canyon cutting off Jarrett uh, Russo and Mike Awesome's limo with their own car. They just almost like smash into the front of it, and then it's like a clown car situation. Everyone gets out of the car and start arguing with one another, just yelling at each other. Well, then a WWE 12 cutscene activates. <laughs> SR7 hitting Teddy Long limo. Yeah, man. That same car cutscene that's yeah. always in the game. The cutscene has been there since the PS2 days. <laughs> uh, it's Hulk Hogan. Oh, my that's God. Exactly, no, you, that's Terry Bollea, brother. F U N B. TCB. TCB, F U N B. It's not even like Hogan just shows up and parks as well. Hogan drives a car. <laughs> hey, fuck you, brother. Hey, fuck you, dude. Fun, but who said about pasta, dude? Fun Why am I not world champion, brother? Fun, but and uh, there is mayhem on Nitro. Woo. Just that big brawl. He's uh, Hogan, like big throws... brawl that they never reference again. The whole show, dude. Hulk Hogan crashed a limousine. <laughs> Hogan 
<laughs> drove a car into a limo, uh, tried to kill people, beats up Mike Awesome, then they just cut to the fucking stage. Oh, Pyro, pew, pew, pew. Anyway, here's what we got tonight. <laughs> Anyways, Crowbar versus Norman Smiley and a dog. <laughs> what Dude, the fuck? Before you get there, that Nitro Pyro was crazy. I don't remember that much Pyro. I don't Nitro remember Pyro. having the little... I remember them having the little uh, WF thing where they would have the little thing that, would, that goes you, up or whatever. Did you like the gigantic uh, projector screen behind the stage? That, yes, is, that is way on. better than... Uh, I think the, that's cool. Yeah, that's way better than the one they go to, which is uh, just the starlight background. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I wish they would have kept this. I feel like it's awesome looking. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. Um, what do you think about this first match here? Crowbar versus Norman Smiley and the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Not even... <laughs> Not even the actual dog from it's WCW just, Worldwide uh, is just a mascot dog. Yeah, I don't crowbar against. Uh, uh, there's, I think they're setting up here. They said Norman Smiley has a handicap match with Terry Funk at Slambury. Here is Terry Funk. This is a dog <laughs> that is that we are to assume is his mystery partner. They and never reveal what this they fucking said, thing they, is. They said the commentary. He will be revealed tonight. Tonight, yes. He will be revealed tonight. <laughs> It's never not revealed. revealed. There's a fucking. It's Norman Smiley and the dog. What the like dog doing? Georgia Bulldog mascot dog, outfit is what it looked like. The dog's got a metal jaw that they never talk about. They never. <laughs> Frankenstein <laughs> dog. Yeah, what the fuck? fucked up from the beginning of the match. Holy shit! This there's a sign in the crowd that just says P, and there's also one that says Doo Doo, and there's one that says Raw is for sheep. <laughs> This is this, awesome. That's, the that's signs the in this crowd are insane. <laughs> There's one later that's unbelievable. There's a sign that says Norman Smiley's number one fan. It's got a big ass hole in the bottom and it's his face. <laughs> and he sees the camera that they look at him and he starts smiling. She's a real hard. <laughs> that's me. That's a good Holy. sign. So yeah, uh, the dog you... is Norman's mystery partner for the pay-per-view. We're supposed to find out who it is. Dude, don't they don't even... Is. There's no investigating on the dog or like anyone well, ringside was not smartened up to the dog. The commentators are uh, are guessing who they think who it's the fuck be. is this? The they, dog. They theorized multiple times during this that it could be Abdullah the Butcher. I that's crazy. <laughs> or Oprah or the Shock Master. No, not a Shock Master. Don't ever <laughs> mention that again. Not the it's Shock so Master. Somebody was how uh, dare you fucking say that shit? Don't you ever mention that shit ever again on this broadcast? The dog dog tries to get into the ring but cannot get into the ring because of its big dog head so it is stuck in the ropes the whole match the, the entire, entire match, match does not get out now no. crowbar donald ducks him that's what mark Daffy madden or somebody spot. said <laughs> yeah he said you're like oh that's what you call that a big donald duck spot he goes yeah what yeah <laughs> crowbar sabus a trash can into norman's face as norman wiggles uh, as the the dog was still in the ropes the whole time, Deb says, "Not the step bro position." <laughs> yeah, she is <laughs> fucked up, man. She's in the trench. She is crazy, <laughs> She's man. Something wrong with, she was a Tumblr step kid. There's something wrong with them. What oh the hell? Uh, did you notice the turnbuckle pose? No, they have a railing on them for guys to hold on to so they can get onto the apron. What? I no, I didn't notice that. I did not. Yeah, they had blank that. What the they hell? welded. Uh, like a grab, like a thing you can grab, like a little railing. Yeah. So you can like when you go to like move up to the apron, you can oh. grab onto it. And get oh, I think there. that's I always that been cool. there. I just never noticed it. Yeah, ever. maybe I just now don't you pay attention. Wait, to it. always been where I think I've seen it before. It's just like yeah. I just oh, maybe in WCW two thousand. But yeah, like, that's what he means. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I was gonna say that is not a normal thing. No, I, think no, that's no, pretty, no, no. Yeah. I mean, around. The, I think I remember seeing it, but I just like blank it out because it's like just WCW. Yeah. The ring also looks super small for some reason. Is it not in uh, 18? I couldn't tell. I thought the, the camera was doing tricks on me. Maybe the camera uh, was, it too, looked was like, further back. It looked like guys were taking two and a half steps to get across of it, yeah. which is usually a tell it's 18. But at some points, it re- like it looked like the apron was a lot smaller than usual. Yeah. Hmm. And like the way that they filmed it from the bottom, it kind of looked like a 16 footer. I do it was know made they for did a dog. Use... <laughs> <laughs> well, it actually is not at all. Maybe for the dog. Oh, yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what I don't even know what the fuck was going on. I can't believe they started the broadcast. This is the craziest. The the mascot <laughs> dog. Hulk Hogan tries crazy. to kill somebody, and Norman Smiley's here as well to fuck the dog. <laughs> it's 
fucking <laughs> fucking unbelievable, man. Crowbar is beating the dog in the head with a trash can lid. <laughs> Just whooping his ass. He doesn't even try to like Crowbar is not even concerned about who's under the mascot no. dog. He's just he's concerned that it's a mascot dog and he's gonna whoop its ass. Crowbar <laughs> they, goes up, I, yeah. at one point they say uh it's glued on. It might be glued on to his head or something because what? that is insane. he was stuck in the ropes. You are that a dumb ass <laughs> You are an idiot. <laughs> Don't ever mention the shot guy ever again. Crowbar <laughs> You ever do that again, Scott Hudson, you will never get hired by the WWF. <laughs> That's true. Crowbar goes up behind the dog and does the big wiggle to the dog in a precarious position. Norman Smiley does not like this, so he hits him in the back. Crowbar is laying on the dog's back. Norman Smiley double wiggles dog and crowbar. <laughs> Human centipede style in WCW, bro. Crazy, man. To Two kick off wiggle. the broadcast. Whoa. Double big wiggle to really keep the fans staying tuned in here. They do a double big wiggle with a mascot <laughs> dog, and then for some reason keep wrestling afterwards. They do a double cross body <laughs> in the air. The dog gets out of the ropes. Then Crowbar uh, puts a shirt over the dog's eyes, and now the dog cannot see in the mask. Of course, and of course. Beats it with a cane and a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> just throws a trash can at the dog's head. I wrote down here, why does no one still know anything about this dog? <laughs> why are we take not revealing at, the dog here? We're supposed to take this at face value for 10 minutes. <laughs> this dog is here also. Ex explain this fantastic finish. I First off, they do a reverse cross body off the top that leads to nothing. Not even a pin. No, they just do nothing. it. Nothing. Yeah. They do a reverse cross body and then it's just a double down. I, they already <laughs> did a double down. Two double downs in two minutes. That's awesome. Uh, Norman then trips over the dog backwards. It was on all fours. He's on all fours. Norman trips over the dog and then somehow is able to grab Crowbar <laughs> after tripping and then rolls him up and pins him for the three. And wins. <laughs> <laughs> and they cut away and there's nothing about the dog nothing. Norman dances with the dog and it goes to commercial Castrol GTX are you fucking kidding me man by the way Hulk Hogan attempted murder <laughs> four people five minutes ago they could all be dead we, for all we know Jesus Christ. would you like to know who Fuck. the mystery partner was I think I remember but who was it would you like to take a guess Abdullah the Butcher. <laughs> Sorry, close. Gypsy Joe. <laughs> oh, even closer. Master. No. Sexy Shock Eddie. Master. It, uh, not Sexy Eddie just yet. <laughs> it was, of course, Ralph is... Ah, uh, yes, now I remember. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, WCW, baby. Right <laughs> <That's not laughs> <pay off. laughs> Why would you not just reveal that? Norman Smiley, you are a dumbass. You gotta, you gotta oh pay to God. see it on pay-per-view, man. The reveal. Yeah, great. Yeah, that's part of Tony. That's what it's all about, baby. Build get that 60 the out there. Get that 60. <laughs> exactly. <for> that. <laughs> Holy. Uh, it shows the commentary table. Uh, Mark Madden's gotta be the craziest, fuck, most fucked fucking looking dude I've ever seen, man. This yeah. guy is <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Crazy um, guy. We go backstage. David Arquette is walking to the ring. He's trying to give up the belt to DDP. He does doesn't not want to be fucking be the champion. He which, says, we, you know, we can give this shit back. Good. I got a movie to start. I can't get killed. <laughs> we have to give this title. I don't even really... He's, yeah, he's, I don't even really fuck with the WCW. <laughs> I kind of like WWF, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather be light heavyweight WWF champion right now if I was doing anything. Please get this shit away from me. They show like 40 dudes walking backstage. Um, The Russo click. I don't even know. Who the, uh, is this New Blood? New Jar blood, yeah. Jared, was, blood. for some reason, I don't remember Jared being a new blood, but I guess that makes Stop, sense. Steiner, new blood. Ja <laughs> <laughs> Crazy new blood here. Fifteen years at this point. <laughs> Jared Russo, Bischoff, Kimberly, uh, Luger, Kimberly and Flair. Page. Kimberly is a different Kimberly. beast. With all due respect, and God bless her. Really, Kimberly Page got to be one of the sexiest women to come out of two thousand. God man. bless Just her, man. Like, <laughs> crazy, crazy shit, man. They should have put her with Steiner only. That would the <laughs> that would no be the way. Medeja Shakira. That's what it was all that with Steiner. Those are <laughs> the number one freaks. <laughs> no, who? <laughs> Aisha? Yeah, we got we got Aisha back here. We're gonna make her work. <laughs> Uh, Luger and Flair also arrived together. Flair says they can have a trap set anywhere. Uh, we got We got to figure it out. You know, there's traps anywhere. Okay, that's not Luger. That's TP. Sorry, TP. No, nah, that's Triple H and Ric Flair. 
right. You're right, actually. It's just, that's all I could think when I saw those seconds. I was yeah. like, Jesus Christ. 100%. That's right. Tony, it was Graceland. That's the name of the thing David Arquette's doing. Graceland. Graceland. Okay. Oh, speaking of David Arquette, somehow he is now outside the arena in different clothes. They didn't say earlier today or that this was any different. He I, just went from walking down the way to at a different area. They show. I think they show very briefly at the bottom in very WCW fire text on the set of Graceland 3,000 miles away. <laughs> I did not see that. <laughs> you were probably startled with what was happening, to be fair. I, I just saw back David Arquette in different clothes. I was like, <laughs> he just, what? <laughs> I, I respect that WCW at least did that. I give 3,000 miles that. away. They didn't say it was like earlier today or anything, though. I think they just said this was 3,000 miles walked away. walked out there. Yeah, yeah. he got there. Uh, David Arquette, of course, he was not happy five seconds ago to be the champion. Of course, he is now happy to be the champion. Because well, his wife is here. <laughs> of course. Uh, Kurt Russell then walks up randomly and says, Holy what's fuck. up? I'm going to fuck your wife. <laughs> Long dick style. <laughs> he says, and Courtney Zoller, don't you know David's WCW champion? And Kurt Russell laughs because he loves <laughs> WWF and this belt doesn't mean shit. <laughs> That's Kurt a Russell. dog shit company. <laughs> Kurt Russell's about to go to his trailer to watch Heat. <laughs> Big fuck Eagle you. for life, you dumb bastard. Fuck you. I don't fuck with that shit at all. He's ready for the Rock and Shane McMahon, man. He can... Hell yeah, he's yeah. going to tune so in. Everybody else in the shit. country. 8.26, and Kurt Russell laughs at him as champion. He walks away, and David Arquette chases after him with a steel chair. <laughs> of course, he did not want to be wrestling five minutes ago, five seconds ago. Well, you know. And now he does. Courtney Cox, uh, I'm feeling different. Me too. Pre-tape, Sean Stasiak is <laughs> hooping. This is not a pre-tape. This is live. <laughs> this is live, this is li- James. This is live right now. <laughs> he's playing. Of course it is. <laughs> he's playing basketball. He says he's hooping the perfect athlete. at the Y. Yeah. This is crazy, Who's the man. the girl that was there? Was that Pamela Aja? Paul Shock? Not Aja. <laughs> It was sure, Asia, sounds, sounds, first of all. <laughs> Secondly, I don't think it was her. Sean Stasiak is the perfect one. He says he's the perfect perfect athlete in all sports, and he's going to break the world record in three free throw shooting. Uh, and he says he is ab, <sighs> ha, 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 absolutely perfect. He wants to break the free throw record. That's a crazy record to break. I can't imagine <laughs> well, going he, to the Y and going, hey, guys, I'm going to break the free throw record. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened there's a camera there too but he's playing a game with 21 it's really fun man that's he, only, like, that's he a shot crazy one dude. in and he, the record was broken immediately he already got it shooting one whoa uh absolutely so after, perfect of course we actually go back this is a ongoing live segment <laughs> that they cut back to they a lot all night yeah uh we get arquette ddp and canyon in a town hall up next oh yeah all right Birmingham, Alabama, <laughs> the hometown of my wife, Courtney. <laughs> that's the craziest. <laughs> I've never. That's crazy. Usually, your wife for the pop is like nuts. Birmingham, Alabama, lie. known for my wife, of course, <laughs> Courtney Cox. <laughs> uh, David Arquette. He says he's going to relinquish the title because he does not deserve it. Booker T probably deserves it. I hope. <laughs> says he's like you know it's been amazing seven days but what's been the best is how the fans been treating me (laughs) my wife lives here (laughs) i'm not a sports entertainer i'm just an entertainer and tonight i'm gonna relinquish the belt uh maybe booker t deserves it (laughs) anyway uh, wcw said no (laughs) with that being said that booker t should have it i'm going to put it up in the ddp jarrett triple cage match (laughs) Yes, was this the, was this the slamboree where it's got Booker T hugging the title on the? Uh... Yes, <laughs> he I doesn't think this, even we go this. for the title. I think we watched this on Patreon. Yeah, we did. We watched the match. Yeah, but the Booker T oh, hugging oh, the title yes, poster, yes, yes, the poster, yes, yes. poster <laughs> the of him poster. holding the title, and There's Booker that. T is not in the title match. No, he's not. Correct. <laughs> In fact, I don't even that's, know if he's on the show. <laughs> that's Booker T probably deserves it. No, <laughs> we should we should do that for showdown in the Carolinas. Just have some random wrestler hugging the DPW title. Well, we gotta remake that. We, Wait, that? That? we gotta remake on, that. On Wikipedia, it's showing uh, the Buff Bagwell one where he's doing the lips. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's probably this it. One. <laughs> <laughs> Was that? 2000? When did they do this? Is 2000? Oh, that was the last one. So 99 must have been the Booker T yeah. one, right? I'm Bump gonna look it up. Real quick. In the, can you, That's James, like, can you do that to the camera? Just so the people know you do. 
That's crazy, man. Where's the Booker T one? Now I gotta find it. Right. It might not have been Slambury, but it, Booker I, T W. There was one. It's his back, and he's turned Poster. to the. He's, uh, his back is turned to it, and he's hugging the big gold, and he where? doesn't even go for the title on that show. What it's Super fuck? Brawl 2000. Is Super it? Brawl. <laughs> yeah, because I know it started with an S. It looks almost similar logo. Holy fuck! I forgot. He's <laughs> caressing the title. <laughs> he is fucking this title. He is fucking the title. That, Holy shit. Yeah. By the way, the logo is the exact same logo. The Slambury and the Super Brawl logo are the exact they same logo. They gave up, man. <laughs> Bro, Booker T fucks the title. You scroll, scroll down. WCW World Title, Sid Vicious versus Scott Hall versus Jeff Jarrett. Yo, fuck you, man. Sorry, Booker. We saw what you did to the title. You have desecrated the good name of this Jeff Jarrett. That's crazy, dude. What does Booker do on that show? I don't even know, man. Super Bowl I, uh, 2000, you said? Yeah, Super Bowl 2000. Uh, no, it was Booker 2000. T versus Big T. Was that for the name? For the oh, that was, oh my that, was the, that was for the rights to the Harlem Heat. Great. Wow. Uh, uh, some guy gave this a D minus. It says, never let these two fight again. <laughs> Booker cool. T was horny. He's hard. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That so the, the, I think the slamboree here with... Uh, Buff Bagwell. These are two of my favorite posters of all time. <laughs> the the, the <laughs> slavery one is nuts. Uh, who is buying this show for this fucking thing? Crazy, bro. And, you guys have uh, to look Booker this up. If you one. haven't looked it up, it's Slamboree 2000 and Super Brawl 2000. Look at the posters for this. It is Ain't nobody doing posters. posters like this. Look at this man. poster. Holy fuck. The, you know, this one and then the <laughs> Halloween Havoc, like 90s or 89 or something, where it's like four different faces of dudes yeah. all put together as yes. one is fucking insane. I don't, I don't know how crazy. we... Oh, I found it. Here we go. It's this one. Look at that. It? Holy shit. <laughs> Fall Brawl. Fall Brawl September 17th. War Game... Oh, that was the War Games one, right? War Games Fall Brawl. It's the craziest poster I've ever seen in my life, bro. Wow. Holy fuck. They don't do, but like, I don't even know how you would do posters like this. You go to the art dude. Yeah. So we need the cat with the tongue. That's some animorph shit right there. Can you the make hell? Bojack naked fucking the title? <laughs> no, it's gotta be somebody else that's not champion. Oh yeah. Someone no, not yeah it's gotta be someone not on the show. <laughs> Can you have Josh yeah. Fuller fucking the title? <laughs> Why are you going to do Josh Fuller like With that? The hair? You really hate him that much? Yeah, Chris, him, man. Chris, Chris Saban fucking the title would be crazy. Oh, oh Lee, bro. God. This is Raw style. He was so, yeah, crazy Our guy's time. trying to give away this fucking title. There's so yeah, anyways, people walk, this show, walking I guess. by in the crowd with pee-pee pee and doo-doo signs. That's awesome. <laughs> David, Ar Can you describe David Arquette's suit here, by the way? No way. I have no words for this. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> If you tuned into comic book men on like a bad that's day, what I figured, yeah, yeah, that's what you would look at here. Crazy. I don't know what this is, man. It's fucked up. Well, here comes the new blood. Oh my God. Kimberly Page is out here. Yo, this is awesome. Jeff Jarrett Miss is also Elizabeth out here. Miss Elizabeth is out here, bro. I do not care about Jeff that's Jarrett, true. bro. Jeff Miss Jarrett Elizabeth is soaking Kimberly... for some reason. Why is he so wet? Because <laughs> he put the water on, man. Why? Because it's hot. Well, there Jeff no Jarrett. AC. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hot here. Jeff Jarrett says, "Who died and made you commissioner?" Slappy. <laughs> Mark Madden says, that's, "Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy." Tell him. Tell him, Jeff. Jarrett says, "You decided to cross that line and step in the ring and to be a sports entertainer, and from now on, that's how your slap ass is going to be treated." <laughs> Just a lot of slapping ass here. Good, good phrase, honestly. Bishop says, "You should have never stepped into this ring, and now you're the WCW champion, and now it's time you act like one." Uh, Arquette, you're going to be in the triple cage match on Sunday. <laughs> well, uh, while that's going on, Lex Luger runs out here to chase off Vince Russo and Elizabeth. Triple H, yes. Yes. If you've forgotten, Vince Russo Tons owns the rights to Elizabeth, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Eric Bischoff called it a triple dance match. Tri is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't ever done a triple dance at the pay-per-view. Luger chases Russo and Elizabeth through the crowd. Scott Hudson says, the package is nuts. That's real shit right there. <laughs> Luger, Luger is dressed up like he's going to kick your ass in the pit, bro. This is the craziest looking dude I've ever seen. He's definitely going to like knock loose concerts and beating his shit up. You're right. I'm, he's I'm not, shocked he's he was not, able to. He's not even listening to the music. <laughs> he's just in a fight. Lex Luger is going to knock loose concerts <laughs> with AirPods in and beating the fuck out of 
Local H, here I come. <laughs> I want to see pay, get, Tony. Can you get Pedro to draw Lex Luger in the pit? <laughs> Torture right the pit with the AirPods on. He is not listening to this music. He's, he has he's, noise canceling on. Noise canceling AirPods, and he's got people in the rack. <laughs> Middle of the Write pit. Yeah. He's it's, listening to incendiary. That's now that's real <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> New York over New Jersey. Go to that. Yeah, let him know. Uh, Holy man. Bischoff tells Arquette, uh, I think you're gonna need a little warm up so you can get ready for your match at Slambury. Tonight you will face Tank Abbott. <laughs> oh not Tank, Tank Abbott. Tank Abbott comes out here dressed as DPW crowd member. <laughs> True. DDP says, Bischoff, kill monkey's music. I don't think that's Dag Abbott's name. He says, you really don't have to work at You don't have to work at it, do you? And Bischoff says, no. And DDP he says- He says it real weird, by the way. Yeah, he says, you don't have to work at it, do you? Bischoff says, no. And DDP says, being an asshole? And Bischoff says, no. <laughs> <laughs> Triple dance. Okay. Tank Abbott says, you stay out of my business, DDP. And DDP says, am I talking to you? I don't think so. Tank Abbott says, listen, I'm talking to you. Either step up or shut up. And DP says, why don't you shut me up, Billy Goat? And Tag Abbott says, okay, and starts whooping his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just rushes him down. Bischoff uh, starts fighting with Arquette. Jeff Jarrett's fighting with Canyon. WCW security actually does a great job here. They don't get their asses kicked, and they break up the fight. I feel like that is first a rarity. Time ever. Yeah, that's the first time that ever, bro. very rare to see <laughs> There's security. a couple more times for them to fuck it up tonight. Well, they, so. you, know, it's, you know, we get there. Uh, Tank Abbott then challenges DDP to a match tonight. Uh, if Tank Abbott wins... Uh, if DDP wins, David Arquette gets off easy. If Tank Abbott wins, he quote, he's going to die. <laughs> That's <laughs> about awesome. David Arquette, of course. He's going to tear David Arquette's head off is what he's in. Of course. I, I can't even believe they let him say that. David Arquette dies. You will die, David That's Arquette. That's awesome. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Luger looks for Russo backstage. Uh, <laughs> and phones then and shit. What the fuck? we go to Sean Stasiak <laughs> shooting free throws. Live. Live. He's fucking shooting these bitches crazy style, bro. He definitely Dirt almost missed. <laughs> no way, bro. They kept trying to say he was going to miss, but this is live, bro. He ain't missing nothing. Why was such a perfect athlete not booked for the show? He was booked. What's he booked for? This is what they told him to do. They said, go play, go no, hoop. No, he, said, he, we wanted hoop <laughs> he wanted to do this. <laughs> I love this. Good gimmick. Uh, backstage, Hugh Morris is in a Daniel Garcia hat. I just, um, at first, I thought this was still, and I don't know why it's Hugh Morris because he's still in the MIA. So surely he would be Hugh G. Rection. No way. Why they not? They ain't calling him that. They ain't calling him that. Dick. He was General. <laughs> he was General Rection, right? General Rection. Hugh G. Rection. General. Yeah. Yeah. General, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Eric Bischoff is three seconds away from killing everybody in the MIA. So <laughs> Eric, <laughs> Eric Bischoff yeah, says, does. "What does he say here? What he says? I am the Luke Rockley of wrestling because I know what teamwork is all about." Who, I don't know who that is. Should I know who that is? Oh, I wrote, I wrote down uh, what? You know why they call me the Dupe Rock me of the <laughs> wrestling? I said, who the hell is Dupe, Dupe Rock me? <laughs> Wait, maybe you're right. No, I don't know who the hell any of these people are. I, I thought it was Tony? like a phonetic <laughs> Dupe Rock oh, yeah, me. No, Luke Rockley played uh, for the WAFL. No, that's not the, that can't be the right guy. Rugby? Who the hell? No, I don't. That doesn't sound right. And that's what they call me the Doobie Rocky. <laughs> they call yeah, me bro Doobie wrestling. You were saying what the fuck? He said tonight, you Steiner and Jarrett will be in a three-way dance. He loved to dance. If any of triple your dance match. triple dance match, if any of your MI interfere, I'm going to fire every one of them on the spot. <laughs> Holy shit! That sounds pretty sweet. I like that. And I already thought, James. I was like, oh, that's a crazy ass match. You Morris against Scott Steiner and Jeff Jarrett. But then the next match showed up. This is where the show went off the rails. I, I actually caps locked Sorry. every. This, I caps locked every single note I wrote on this segment. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I, most of mine for this match are also in caps lock this is without a doubt no 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 joke the best part of this show this, without a doubt i couldn't have asked for anything more as it as it slowly evolved to me and exposed what was this match was i got very excited and it only got better throughout <laughs> this match is the wall versus horace hogan in a tables match. <laughs> tables match. 
they did not like... call him Horace Hogan. They Horace. called him Horace. Yeah. He was just Horace, yeah. He's just Horace, but they say that Hulk Hogan is his uncle. He is fighting for his uncle, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. I feel like Horace they don't Hogan tell you. is here with a vision, bro. This guy is White nuts. White vest? <laughs> Dude, bald <laughs> head, goatee, <laughs> earring, chain, knee brace. There won't what? nobody what? doing it like this. Tony, tell me one single other wrestler <laughs> at the time that was doing it like this. Even the WCW. One. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> We're not watching that. <laughs> Got him. Everybody else was, Tony. Come Dude, on. I don't think they – I, I feel like they didn't say it was a tables match until like a minute into the match. There's tables outside like set up. There's also a table set up at the stairs for some reason. Oh, my God. Let me uh, – Let's all right. Here's this match. Man. Well, firstly, the wall gets Irish whipped into the barricade and almost rolls his ankle. <laughs> Fuck. It's all right. Horace Hogan can carry this one. Well, Horace, Horace is fighting Hogan. for his uncle Hulk Hogan. Hor Horace Hogan away, is fighting for his fucking life out here. He's in the trenches, man. Horace Hogan does a shoot hangman DDT off the top. Oh, fucking kills the wall. Oh Holy my god. Shit. He that said, I would scary. pick your ass up and we're doing a Death Valley driver. I said, dude, Oh my god. Dude, nobody Yo. is doing it like Horace. Horace with the knee brace over the pants. Tony, who does it like that? Nobody, nobody is doing it like that. <laughs> Tell me one wrestler. Tell me one guy, Tony. One wrestler. Knee brace over the pants. Don't go save us. Damn. All right. Why'd he well, do that? He stole Horace Hogan. Horace. <laughs> Horace Hogan. <laughs> he, he stole Horace's whole flow. Bar for yeah. bar. All right. Listen to these notes. I'm going to go down the list here. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot. <laughs> There's a part I completely forgot about. All right. So Horace Hogan is the hangman DDT at the top, Death Valley driver. <laughs> right after. Miss Hancock is now here. <laughs> <laughs> James is fired up. James is fired up right now. She's <laughs> know it's Horace Hogan. <laughs> Sorry, right? Miss Hancock is here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I knew I wrote, you were fired up. <laughs> I wrote, yes, match of the year. And then Dude. I wrote, wait a minute, Billy Kidman is here. <laughs> And then I wrote, Horace Hogan is kicking Billy Kidman's ass. <laughs> Dude, Miss Hancock comes out. Mark Madden yells on commentary, Snoochie Boochies, fellas. <laughs> That's real talk. He's Billy, spitting. Billy Kidman comes out to attack Horace. Horace immediately shit cans up to the outside. The immediately, wall, yeah. The wall hits a big boot on Horace, and Scott Hudson says, That's his uncle's move. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, <laughs> match of the year, baby. They're killing it out here, man. Holy Legit fuck. best work on a whole show. Whole show. This is crazy. It's the wall choke. The wall choke slams Horace through the table <laughs> and wins. And that's that's the match. But then they're beating up with Kidman now. They're beating up Horace double style. Dude, they do. They do the backbreaker second rope elbow tag move. The wall and Billy Kidman <laughs> to Horace Hogan. <laughs> And guess who comes out to say His that? uncle's here. Oh, Gogan. What the fuck? No relation to Horace. He, his last name, no way. I'm Terry. Uh, <laughs> TCB Terry. is here. I'm Terry, dude. I just don't want to see any trouble going on, brother. Listen to who's here right now. The Wall, Horace Hogan, Billy Kidman, Hulk Hogan, Miss Hancock. And guess who else joins the fray? Well, it's Mike Awesome. <laughs> and he beats Hogan's ass until he doesn't. And then Hogan starts beating all of them up. Beating them. He beats everybody. He fucks up the new blood. What Dude, the fuck? The wall, Billy Kidman, and Mike Awesome versus Hulk Hogan. And, and they, they are putting the boots to Hulk Hogan. <laughs> you know, then, they, then finally they get the upper hand. Dude, tell me. That you didn't think for one split second, because I did, there was a glimmer of hope when they set up this table and set up this spot that Hogan was about to take an awesome bomb off the top. I, he set him up for it. He did. He, he set was, him up for it. I was like, the there's no flex. way. Yeah, I was like, no way. Dude, what? and the guy won't stop ringing the fucking bell, bro. Ding, 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 ding. He's like getting tired of hitting it, but he's yeah. still going, man. Somebody get out of here. Fuck. God damn. <laughs> 
Uh, Mike Awesome goes for the awesome splash, but Hulk Hogan, he's fighting back, brother. He's here, dude. Terry's Mike that's Awesome Terry. and it's <laughs> DCB, my bad. DCB <laughs> fights <laughs> back. <laughs> Mike Awesome then sunset flip power bombs Hulk Hogan <laughs> through a table. Well, that is so fucking crazy, you man. Say that, just, say that sentence one more yeah. time. Mike Awesome. That's a fucking crazy. ECW champion Mike Awesome. <laughs> Sunset flip power bombs Hulk Hogan through a table. It actually looked awesome too. No, and that, that and we are twenty minutes it into the show. That's fucking unbelievable, man. It wasn't like a regular sunset flip power bomb either. He like, I, oh, he crazy. Sent him. I don't know, even know how to. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. It was yeah, listen I mean, to this. Looking. Yeah, but it, it only listen gets crazier. Mike Awesome sunset flip power bombs Hulk Hogan through the table, and then all you hear is, <laughs> <laughs> you smell that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you feel that. Vampiro, oh, no. black and white in a graveyard, dry fucking a tombstone. <laughs> it fades, it like fades out from Hogan into the graveyard thing, doesn't you smell it? That. <laughs> what the fuck? Vampiro says, I tasted it, and you want it? Sting, this is my dream. This is my home. When you come and play, and I know you will, I know you want to, come on, Sting, because I know curiosity. Kill the scorpion. <laughs> Man, what? What the fuck is wrong with you, Vampiro? What, you suck? Hit my fucking music! Hit my fucking music! So, something's gonna happen. You smell that? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, you feel that? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit, man. The sun's the flip power on all going to. You smell that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Curiosity killed the scorpion. Yeah. Holy it shit. It doesn't get any better as Vince Russo's out next. Oh, Vince Russo gosh. drags Elizabeth <laughs> down to the ring. While Luger is, lo oh. sorry, TP, looking for them backstage, Russo just gets in the ring, says, Lex Luger, I am not afraid of you. I'm calling you out to the ring, and I will kick your ass. And then they leave. <laughs> That's it. I thought, All right. I thought okay. Luger was going to come out. Yes. He's, I'm calling you out, and then he leaves. I'm calling you out, I'm calling you out and I will rack you. And then he leaves. What the fuck? Okay. All right. It's cool. Holy fuck, man. Uh... Jeff Jarrett versus Scott Steiner versus Hugh Morris. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Jarrett's on the cover of WCW magazine, and his subtitle is All the Stroke. <laughs> Based. Steiner comes out with the freaks. Yeah, Medeja and Shakira are here. That's awesome, bro. Big yeah, Medeja's on the US signs. champ. Yeah. I, I think it's crazy that for some reason I know the freaks, Medeja, and Shakira. I do not know Aisha. Aisha! <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? That ain't Medeja or Shakira. Fair enough. Uh, Jarrett has the in ring pyro with the guitar. I love that, that awesome. shit. Sick. Uh, Steiner grabs a sign that says Big Papa Pump sucks and then rips up a Big Papa Chump sign. <laughs> He's ripping, he is ripping up a ton of signs, actually. Uh, and then Steiner, of course, has something to say. I can't, uh, I can't no. imagine Scott uh, Steiner no. coming out here and not grabbing the microphone. Yeah, he came it, right? out here I'd, and didn't talk. Fuck you, man. I'd be failed. disappointed, yeah. Um, so Steiner grabs the mic and says, if I see any more signs like this, I'm going to come out there and do what I do best. And that is kicking white trash, trailer park trash. <laughs> <laughs> and the best time I ever had in Alabama is when I left it. <laughs> Somebody hit Hugh Morris' music. <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck is Hugh Morris wearing here, dude? You, Boris, customized jeans for one side to be higher than the other. <laughs> I ain't never seen. This is fucked up, man. They should have fired him on the spot looking like this. I'm glad Eric Bischoff took liberties backstage out of this. I one. think so, too. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said, y'all fucking This suck. is enough of this shit, man. Gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting 2.5 ratings. You get the fuck you out of here, You are killing man. this company. Get out of our company. <laughs> get out of our company. Get out of our company. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of our company. Who uh, so let you in here? Who booked you? <laughs> Who booked you? Get out of our company. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking to you. 
<laughs> so Steiner and Jarrett start the match by putting the boots to Hugh Morris. You they're fucking stomp- dude, they're, bitch. They're stomping him out. <laughs> at one point, Steiner points down on him, looks at the crowd, and says, "That's why trash." <laughs> Awesome. Steiner has a spinning belly to belly Hugh Morris he legit just just fucking just carries him floats him yeah, in the no, air it's, it's insane perfect. looking man they're just taking turns whooping Hugh Morris' ass just hitting all the spots posing on the buckle yeah Jarrett tries to go for the stroke on Hugh Morris Steiner breaks it up and then just effortlessly <laughs> exploder suplexes him across the ring get what? the fuck out of here man why did he start just beating Jarrett's ass <laughs> Because Jared tried to steal the pin earlier, so Steiner's like, fuck you, man. Okay, well, this is how it turned around. Hugh Morris starts bumping him. He goes to Moonsault Steiner, but he misses. I can't believe that's a sentence, man. Yeah, sorry Hugh Morris started bumping him. Eric Bischoff said, no no more on that. (laughs) Get out. (laughs) Steiner puts Hugh in the recliner. Jared gets in with the guitar and then hits Steiner in the back of the head with it, leaves, and then Hugh Morris pins Scott Steiner. That was the worst mistake of his life. (laughs) Well, he should have just lost. It works out pretty okay. Uh, the Misfits in action come out to celebrate after the match as well. Uh, and they really shouldn't have done that. Eric Bischoff's going to work for him in a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. You go to business for yourself? Is that what you're doing? It cuts to, before we get that, it cuts to the graveyard again. Sting has arrived. Sting is at the graveyard. How? There's so many questions here that we'll never get answers to. <laughs> he invited to. him to this place. What the fuck? Sting in gear? Responded to a pre-tape. How did he, did he drive here in gear and face paint for this graveyard match in Birm- Birmingham, Alabama? Sting has a license. <laughs> or did he fly on a crow? Maybe he fell yeah, down from a yeah, helicopter. helicopter yeah. Down, yeah. <laughs> I would love to see Sting's driver's license. I assume it's like the SpongeBob driver's license looking shit. Patrick's. You, do you think fucking? I mean, Sting is also here. He's afraid of trees. He's like smacking fucking branches and stuff. Why would he, he agree got to this? scared of the tree limbs? He like yeah. touched them. Ah, uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> please. <laughs> you so it cuts that? back and Bischoff said, "Look, after that sting segment and after whatever the fuck, you, you you're all fired. You got to get the fuck out of here, <laughs> all Bischoff of you." Fires the entire Misfits in action here, including Van Hammer. That's very upsetting to me. Van Hammer, Chavo, you all got to get the fuck out of here, Lash man. Two point five rating. Lash get Lash out of here. Damn. <laughs> Ain't nothing for you here, man. Damn it, man. Uh, it go, cuts to Russo getting dressed backstage, and Miss Elizabeth is also there. Yes, he's getting ready um, to fight Luger. Russo says, "What are you looking at?" And Elizabeth says, "Not much." And Russo says, "Well, I'm a, a gentleman, so please face the wall, <laughs> because I'm going to whip my cock out." I guess I don't know. <laughs> That's a crazy bastard. <laughs> What's he doing? Miss Elizabeth looked good here, though. She bro. did look fantastic. Like she was like crazy good looking. WCW had the 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 high tier women. That's fucking true. That is real true. And they had Luger, who, by the way... TP. TP might be my favorite dude of all time. TP is crazy with this shit, man. That outfit, plus when he takes it off, he looks like that. Keeps the chain on, by the way, dude, later. He, yeah, spoilers. He does not change for this match. He just comes out of his hand. It's not gear comes or anything. fresh out the pit to whoop your ass. <laughs> Uh, so we cut to a pre-tape. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, this is live. This is, this live. is live. How dare this you? This is live. Of course, they have a multicam set up at the graveyard live. It is. Um, which, by the way, is supposed to be Sting and Vampire. For some reason, Sting brought the cameras with them, or <laughs> Vampire had a multicamera set up at the. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone had to film his promo earlier, so there was cameras there. Yeah, of that course. makes sense. He yeah, yeah. needed the try three camera setup. And this one was the left. is this filmed in like night vision? What is this? Because uh, yeah, because Scott says the middle of the day or something. He's like, oh wait a minute, no, it's night. Oh my god, <laughs> he does say that, dude. Okay, first they this is there's an insane trio of things here that happen. So Sting, uh, we're in the graveyard. Sting walks right by Vampiro. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> just, <laughs> just completely walks by him. Last week, Sting was blood bathed by Vampiro, and Scott Hudson says Sting has not bathed in a week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were, we, did we watch? Did we watch? We that did one watch that. Sting, we was Sting show walking up around bloody. with blood on him. Was, was that thunder? Yeah, did. That might have been the thunder. Yeah, I think we questioned oh, it there maybe too. Right, we were like, yeah. why it is was Sting, the thunder? It was probably that. Why thunder did Sting not take a shower? Wins. Sting's definitely not covered in blood here. I don't know why he said that. <laughs> Sting is bathed for sure. I uh, smell that. <laughs> Sting stinks. <laughs> Sting smells like shit on it. <laughs> Sting. <laughs> Scott Hudson says, I don't like graveyards in the daytime, especially when it's dark. <laughs> That's real shit, what? man. 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> They're really spitting tonight. They got a lot to say. I don't like graveyards in the daytime, especially when it's dark. Scott Hudson, what is fucking wrong with you? You're fired as well. That makes a lot of sense. I get it. I get what you said. What saying. the I mean, fuck? Really Me neither. Me neither. You know. Yeah. Um, this is ridiculous. Well, um, Vampiro, it's, it's 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 crazy because. This is ridiculous. There's a really cool part, and then it just gets ridiculous again. Yes, they they could have saved this. They did not. Yeah. So Sting eventually Sting finds Vampiro, and then Vampiro runs away in the dark because it's dark. Uh, and then Vampiro comes up behind Sting and beats his ass with a shovel, and he just starts beating his ass with a shovel, and then he grabs another shovel. And he beats his ass with that shovel as well. Yeah, that shovel, that big ass yeah, shovel. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> Yo, yeah. They also they also tell you why you would use a shovel in a graveyard. Well, why is that? Well, you would use it to dig a grave and put somebody in it. And you mean like dirt. this oh. open grave right here? Now, did he dig that himself? <laughs> <laughs> no, the cameraman did it for him. Of course, get to work. Dude. Okay, so Vampiro pulls a tombstone out of the ground. This is some poor <laughs> dead person's tombstone <laughs> that he is defacing here. I would like to it. assume that that Vampiro paid the city for the hole, bought the, the tombstone, <laughs> the plot. He, bought, he the got the plot. orders. They, they he asked got the orders for it. He said, he asked, <laughs> they, they got the plot. He asked, who is this for? And he says, for Sting. And they said, Stink. And he said, Sting. And then they put it. Well, he hasn't paid in a week. Yeah, put him in there. <laughs> He said steak. Make sure it says steak. <laughs> so, Vampiro has this tombstone. This is... What is this? Sting looks at him and he says, Who are you? What? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, okay. Okay. I will... Hands up. I loved the dialogue. Oh, my, of course you fucking did. It, it, I loved the dialogue. And then it, immediately I was like, God damn it, man. Uh, so, yeah. Sting asks, Who are you? Vampiro, does, now I could be wrong here. But me, I want to know, hold on. I want to know what you thought he said. <laughs> okay. Sting says, Who are you? And, Vir and Vampiro says, I'm the monster you should have been. That's correct. That's pretty sweet. It is a cool line, but I, how, how would Sting, you know well, who it is. <laughs> I'm the monster you should have been. Then he smacks him in the fucking head with the tombstone. He kills him with the tombstone. Takes a huge bump into the grave. Dude, not only that, he dumps not just a wheelbarrow with the dirt in it. He dumps the whole thing in it. He doesn't just dump the dirt. He dumps the whole <laughs> wheelbarrow on top of Sting. <laughs> that is fucking sweet. Uh, and then it comes back around. And of course, Sting, yeah, he had to make sure that fourth or fifth cameraman has to get that hand coming out the grave. Yeah, that right was away. like, damn. No selling, huh, Sting? I guess that goes with Stings. Sure. He doesn't yeah. sell it all. Yeah, they, he fucking kills him, leaves him for dead in the grave. They don't even cut to another segment. It immediately shows Sting's hand coming out of the grave. You can see his fucking mechanical glove on there. <laughs> That's how you know it's him, <laughs> the mechanics glove. And commentary yeah. says, That's Sting's hand! He's alive! So you guys thought he was dead? <laughs> you were not very concerned? Immediately, three seconds after he went in there. Fucking hell, man. I uh, I thought, yeah, I thought that, you know, maybe they'll let it simmer for a week or two, but, you know, they were in, they never were in let it simmer for a week why or two. Why even no, do, like, no. especially with what they do later, why do they do this? You know, I don't know why they do it, and, I, and, and it, it kind of takes away from what they said, like, when they were talking, because, like, you know, Sting just comes down and kicks the shit out of Vampiro, but... Uh, I re I actually really did like the idea of Vampiro being like Sting, who like oh, didn't have the angle. same. Well, let's not go that far. Well, it's, I mean, it the, was good okay, dialogue. The idea of the, on paper, <laughs> on paper, the angle is a good angle. But yeah, I agree. The delivery um, is is they didn't they didn't have the they didn't have the team to put this together. It, there, it was way no. too deep for them. It's like every time I watch like Bray Wyatt or do something in WWE, yeah. it's like. They don't have the team to do this. This is not happening. Vampiro man. not a very strong promo either for this. Uh, um, comes off kind of. He weird. was. He was. He's great in pre tapes. He is. You know. Um, and honestly, you know when he was a face, this. I think Raven could have did this awesome. Yeah, you're right. I think yeah. probably too. Yeah. Um, but I think Vampiro and Sting was a money thing. And sure, I mean, like they, it was like they a money match paint. for them. Uh, I know when I was a kid, I was like, ah, you know, that's that's it right sure. there. The face yeah, paints yeah. really, um, but. Yeah, I think I think this could have been a lot cooler. I think Vampiro was way cooler as a face than he was as a Me heel. Me too. Yeah. Um, and it's just a shame, you know, they really couldn't. They, you can, you know, you can't falter Sting to a heel or no, anything. And sure. They weren't really in the business of doing face and face stuff. Or he's alive. <laughs> he's back. He's, <laughs> immediately. He I mean, we didn't have oh any time my. to miss him. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, he legit got killed and then brought back to life before you even knew he died. <laughs> this builds so, up to their like uh, their Inferno whatever match, right? Is that Doesn't after that this? Up? The uh, yeah, that word comes up Vampiro, in June. Or, is it Sting or Vampiro goes off the Tron? The Human uh, Inferno match. Yeah, that's Sting that goes off the thing. That's in June of okay. this year. Yeah. So yeah. Great. Yeah, you get far. You get far. You get too deep, and then you know at that point. Now you're just gonna go crazy. It's, yeah. it's pretty. It happens a lot in wrestling. Like how does what? How does Sting go from this being killed, being set on fire, falling off the Tron to like I'm gonna wrestle Ric Flair again? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> also it's Sting fights Vampiro at this Slamboree as well. So and just a I'm regular sure. match. Great. Call now I want to see Vampiro fucking the big gold on the poster. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> I want to see Vampiro do the bump bag with lips. <laughs> <laughs> and Vampiro as Lion. <laughs> yeah, what is that, man? Oh, that's crazy. Ear. So, anyways, uh, Luger is training backstage with Flair. Getting pumped this up. This is legit just Triple H and Flair. It this is. is. You're crazy. right. It really is. Flair says, look at this, Russo. Woo! Look at this, Russo. All right. He's just doing, like, bicep curls. With <laughs> He's the just curling. He's getting a pump. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have DDP versus Tank Abbott up next. Holy shit. Uh, there's a... Signed right in the front row that says, "Is anybody watching?" <laughs> no, <laughs> that's awesome. They have DDP throw like exchanging punches with Tank Abbott to start this off. I'm like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" And then Tank thankfully takes him down after a couple. But I'm like, "Like Tank should have. If you want to make Tank here, just have him deck DDP. Just kill him." Yeah, thankfully, yeah, yeah thankfully, uh, DDP is a smart worker. So, he gets there. Uh, yeah, yeah, he kind of gets. Can you explain to me? What I swear we've talked about this. Maybe Tony knows. What is DD me? And why do they keep? Why does Mark Madden keep calling him that? DD me. Yeah, DD me. DD is it because he, he no. was like selfish <laughs> and he was only cared about himself or something? I think is what uh, they were saying. Ah, okay, maybe. I feel like that's what the character. He, that's a horrible name. Even, he didn't even try. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Doo doo poo. Ah. <laughs> oh, my God. I got oh, my God. I got that son of a bitch. So, D- <laughs> DDP gets fucked up here. He's having to pull himself up in the corner. Tank Abbott is going to leave here because uh, he says, oh, DDP is dead. Now I'm thinking about Stone Cold Steve Austin asking Horace Hogan, who are you? Horace Hogan says, I'm the monster you should have been. <laughs> What? <laughs> Horace Hogan's like got a five star met, so how you want to fucking Stone hear it? Cold Horace? Yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> Bischoff and Kimberly are watching this match in the back. Canyon and Arquette are trying to go help DDP, but their locker room door is locked. Oh no. Uh, Tank Abbott starts Okay, whoop- dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. They don't it's even not- show it, that it's locked on the other side or anything. It's just locked. Our door is locked. It- it's not here. Just remember that they're locked in this room. Yeah, you can keep going. You're right. Uh, uh, you know what? I didn't even think about that for later. <laughs> <laughs> so they're locked. Arquette and the Cannon are locked in this room. Uh, Tank Abbott punches DDP over the guardrail. He's beaten him with uh, DDP's beaten Tank Abbott with a trash can. I don't remember this being no DQ, but whatever. Uh, Tank Abbott goes over the barricade and almost kills the referee, but this was to distract the referee because Fred Durst attacks DDP from behind with a glass bottle. I couldn't bottle. believe it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Mark Madden describes him as some strange masked man. No, no one cared that a fan attacked and slammed a beer bottle into DDP's head. Oh my God, it's Jeff Jarrett. And DDP loses. Okay. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? I know Tank Abbott wins? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I think mark, it was by hell? a knockout on the outside of the ring. I just wrote okay. Tank Abbott wins by DQ. It's question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> I wrote question, I mark, question wrote, mark, question mark, question mark. I also wrote question mark. <laughs> I put DDP loses? Question mark, question mark. Okay. Hey, speaking of DDP and DD me, I looked it up. Uh, Mark Madden okay. called him DD me. Apparently that was like his thing. Supposedly DDP wanted Madden to say something like, uh, he's 45, but he looks 35, and he wrestles like he's 25, but Mark Madden thought it was stupid, especially for a heel broadcaster to say, uh, and then he didn't say it, and DDP got mad, so then he called him DDP me on commentary. So DDP asked him to do something, and he said, I'm going to bury you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and it turned That's... into a whole joke. Of the 45, 35, 25 thing turned into a big joke, apparently, at the time, online and stuff. So. WCW is Everything is just crazy. a big joke to you, huh, Mark Yeah, Madden. you guys just don't care. <laughs> yeah, huh? You just do what you want out there. Joke. You just well, go look out at there, you now. and you do what you want. <laughs> 
<laughs> not in WCW. Pretty, <laughs> that's a Get pretty sweet line, though. He's, 40, he's 45, looks 35, wrestles like he's 25. That's pretty That's sweet. a cool-ass line. Why would he not yeah, say that? Mark Madden said, if, fuck if Mark, you, Didi me. <laughs> if Mark Madden's not going to say it, why can't like, fucking Scott Hudson say it or something? I don't know. Why were you asked your job to do something and then you just didn't do it? Why don't you listen to your boss? <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. You're probably okay. getting paid way too much money, buddy. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, anyways, our cat's in the triple dance cage match. <laughs> triple um, dance? <laughs> correct. The EMTs are checking on DDP, by the way, who is now oh, on a stretcher. Right. DD me. Uh, and the EMT said, we gotta give him some help now. <laughs> and... <laughs> Well, don't worry about that. Hulk Hogan is whooping Mike Awesome's ass in the locker room. <laughs> hey, can we talk about, can we eyes, talk about who is at the gurney? <laughs> they did no, not oxygen thankfully. DDP's eyes. <laughs> Which Who's is weird because that's how you get the oxygen to your eyes quick. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the gurney, Arquette and Canyon. The, Arquette and Canyon are rings are beside the gurney. Wait, are they? They are beside the gurney. <laughs> they were locked <laughs> in the room and now they are not. <laughs> I didn't even see them at the gurney. Holy oh fuck. And now they are not locked in there anymore. Them. Free my homies Nobody. that have been locked in the locker they, room. They, listen to this. They are by the gurney. They are now free from the room. And then later on, they are back in the room of their own accord. <laughs> you, you two just don't learn, huh? <laughs> that is crazy, man. Fucking unbelievable. Holy shit. I didn't even realize that. Holy shit. Uh, so yeah, Hulk Hogan is attacking Mike Awesome backstage. <laughs> TCB, brother. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> FNUB, bitch. <laughs> Terry style. That's Fun crazy. Take all the gang signs and yeah. shit, man. Get blown. <laughs> now we get the Billy Kidman town hall. <laughs> oh, fuck. Billy Kidman's out here in the new blood shirt. He says, uh, you, got, you guys should thank me for, you know, what I've been doing. Thanks, Billy, for taking Hogan and wiping your ass with him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crazy line, bro. Is, Thank you, kid man. That was based as hell. Thanks, if, Billy. If the promo would have ended there, that would have been, been fan fucking yeah, all timer. Thanks, Billy, for taking Hogan's nothing happening nephew and kicking the crack out of him. And thanks, Billy, for showing us what the kicking new blood the is all about. Out of him. <laughs> <laughs> There's something we don't know about Horace. <laughs> There's something about Horus. That's crazy. He said the oh, new blood fuck. is about the so the new blood is a is about killing the so-called heroes Hogan, Sting, and Nash. I'm the kingpin around here now, <laughs> and I'm gonna expose them for the washed-up pieces of trash that they are. And I'm not gonna talk anymore. That's it. The crowd cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! <laughs> Keep it up. Uh, and he says, Hogan, everybody knows a slamboree with Bischoff. Uh, counting the one, two, three. I'm gonna finish you off there. But tonight. If there's anybody in the back that wants some new blood, the kid is looking for some action. So, Billy Kinman had in mind that he was going to fight anybody here tonight. And there wasn't really too many people stepping up to the cause. So much so that Terry Taylor, watching the monitor, is standing there. Kevin Nash somberly walks up and says, what is, what is going on here? Is <laughs> Terry Taylor stooges to Kevin Nash about yeah. Billy Kidman. He says he's calling you, he's calling you washed up. And on the mic in the back while Terry and Kevin Nash are having a conversation, you can hear Kidman saying, is your wife here, Hogan? I'll beat her up too. <laughs> that <laughs> is crazy. That. Holy shit. <laughs> so Kevin Nash says, eh, I guess I'll go fight him. Just nonchalantly says, where and where, how do I get there? <laughs> how do Where's I get the to <laughs> Follow there. Go that way. Go there, man. It's because everybody at WCW is too busy watching WWF on the monitors. That's You're right. Nobody knew. Watch yeah. the, watching his friends have a better Terry time. Terry Taylor's flipping over to the other show. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Kidman, I feel like spends forever still talking shit in the ring. Yeah, because Kevin nobody Nash... comes out. So no! he's just talking shit because nobody comes they, out. Why didn't they just hit Nash's music and just, he could have came out a little bit after? you got to find Terry Taylor because it's more real, you know? I guess so. Uh, the Wolfpack theme hits. Nash comes out. He gets in the ring. Kidman starts jumping him. Uh, Nash uh, immediately kills Kidman with a knee lift that I feel like Kidman Holy almost, shit. almost breaks it his neck him. on. Yeah. It, to the other side of the ring. I've never seen that before. It's That's unbelievable. Crazy. Uh, Nash crotch chops and hits with an elbow in the corner. He beals Kidman out of the corner. Then all of a sudden, Rey Mysterio Jr., maskless and very blonde and in leather, <laughs> Beast. with Conan, and they start attacking Kevin Nash. Scott Hudson on commentary saying, they don't even wrestle for us. They had to release. They were free agents. I don't know what that's fucking about. There's yeah, a whole angle here that. that I'm missing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. 
Or um, it was I'm real. I'm pretty sure it's not, not sure. even an angle, yeah. Yeah? I think maybe Conan was hurt or something. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Kevin Nash kicks their fucking ass, <laughs> all of them. All of them. There's two returning heels get no heat. They just get beat Dude, up. He, he sidewalk slams everybody. Big boot to Ray. He's he like, hits Ray tall. with the gnarliest big boot of all time. Holy but, shit! Yeah, yeah. He fucking sends him backwards. He almost necks him. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, Ray almost <laughs> pile drives himself in the standing position. <laughs> Not uh, only so that, they, but then they start running from Kevin Nash too. It after gets that. worse. Dude, that you know what, Tony? I, I didn't even really like connect that. They got their ass kicked, then ran, and then got their ass kicked <laughs> <laughs> by a guy Kevin that Nash was not running. Trolled them. He yeah, not, he was like, yeah, was he so was walking. like Michael Myers walking. <laughs> yeah. and he caught up to them. <laughs> and he caught Ray Mysterio Jr. and Conan. So they go. No they go backstage. Ray trips on the ground on the way to the bar. The cable lot. guard <laughs> fucked him up big style. <laughs> Conan and Ray get into the back of a, what is this, a low rider pickup? Is that what this is? It's gotta be. It's some sort of like, yeah, custom car, custom so, truck. Ray jumps in the back of it. Conan's in the driver's seat. Ka Kevin Nash walks up just in time for them to pull off. Sadly, so <laughs> someone shoot pulls up in a limo and they can't drive out. <laughs> There's traffic. There's they didn't clear traffic. The, they didn't clear the backstage. <laughs> They didn't clear the backstage before doing this segment. That's, so, uh, what? So Nash is commandeering a car next to him. He GTAs this fucking guy out of his car, then looks back and realizes the low rider truck is right next to him, not moving. <laughs> <laughs> so Rey Mysterio panics, jumps out of the back of it. Conan jumps out of the truck. It starts to roll backwards. <laughs> Nash is whooping their ass. Ain't nobody doing it like this, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> Ain't nobody doing it like this. Nash is beating up Ray, and he looks down on him. He says, what are you, Cisco? <laughs> this is insane, bro. I couldn't believe it. They were supposed to speed it. off, and Nash was going to speed off in a car. They've done a they spot like a million him. times. Yeah. That's, a million, that's a Kevin Nash spot where he drives off in a car chasing somebody. Yeah. So oh. instead, he beats the dog shit out of him for three <laughs> okay. segments. Fuck he just whoops man. their ass, and Conan almost kills Rey Mysterio by not putting the car, the truck in the park. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. So uh, after that, we get Vince Russo versus Lex Luger. Russo with Elizabeth, of course. Russo enters the ring, <laughs> steps into the ring on hard cam. There is a sign that says Vince Russo sleeps with goats. I have proof sign. <laughs> I have proof. <laughs> that is crazy. Russo says, I'm looking forward to kicking your ass, Flair. But as far as what? But as far as Lex goes, <laughs> you beat me tonight and I give you the key to Liz. And Russo says, Liz, do your job. Do me, baby. Which he wanted her to take off his do attire, Do me, of course. baby. Do me, baby. Do me, baby. And <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Crackhead energy, man. Liz says, you're from New York, right? Well, kiss my Kentucky ass. <laughs> what the fuck you're that? from New York, right? Vince Russo is wearing a New York Yankees like <laughs> shirt. He always says he's from New York. He's the has most a New, New York Yorker accent. guy ever. Hey, hey, got a pizza. <laughs> Earlier in the night, he said, hey, I'm from New York. To her backstage. Yeah. Crazy. So here comes Luger and Flair. Uh, Luger not really paying much mind to Flair as he's making his entrance. So much got so, the AirPods so, in. So much so, so <laughs> that Buff Bagwell and Shane Douglas jump Flair during Luger's entrance <laughs> and just Air whoop his ass. AirPods are in. Not worried. <laughs> not worried about that. <laughs> he didn't give a shit, man. He's not worried about that. The security oh. fucking swarm Luger to stop him from getting to Russo. Uh, the security's all over him. Security start macing Luger. <laughs> they mace him with 40 dudes around him, and nobody sells the mace, not man. Holy shit. <laughs> they mace him and immediately cut to a shot of... Ric Flair out on the ramp, Peter Griffin style. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. He's laid out, eyes He's closed dead. on the ramp. Ah. Broken legs. <laughs> Buff Bagwell so, really put a number on his dude. Yeah, the franchise franchised him. <laughs> Luger's handcuffed now, by the way. Uh, Buff Bagwell grabs TP's ankles. 
to set up for Shane Douglas to headbutt him in the cock and balls. <laughs> and they were like, sound like, yeah, and we're going to do it right now. That's right, we're going to do it to him. What, headbutt his balls? <laughs> That's all you can think of, guys? This guy has mace. Just said, mace him. said, more. yeah, set him up. Set him up. Huh? What do you mean? Set him up. We saw the Dudleys do this. We were watching this earlier. Headbutt his balls? <laughs> Hey, yo! <laughs> Russo says, come on, small package. Buff hits him with a reverse DDT. Uh, Liz is checking on TP. Russo says, what the fuck are you doing? You better finish him now. So Vince Russo just gives Miss uh, Elizabeth a bat, and she doesn't even hesitate. She just hits him with it and runs away. <laughs> what the fuck? That shit. Why? Whatever, <laughs> whatever. Yes, Liz yeah. runs away. Fuck this angle, I guess. Dude, she runs away. It cuts to Shane Douglas leaning on the ropes, and he says, "You whore." <laughs> he does say that. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you whore. And as he turns around again. All right, now get his balls again. Give, 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 give me your dick and balls again. I got you. <laughs> give me, set him over the balls again. We will end this package. <laughs> No more package for you. <laughs> but that is not the end of the segment. Here comes Chronic. Oh, fuck. Chronic run in and start beating up all of the security guards to get the buff in the franchise. They kill all of the security. So much so that the police have now arrived. Chronic this is the most extended beatdown of all time. It's forever. They have to kill every single security guard. I don't know if they got lost and weren't sure who was supposed to take what bumps, but they are just bumping and feeding all these security guards. The cops are awkwardly standing there trying to get their attention as Chronic hit high time on security. <laughs> Chronic came in the ring. Chronic came in the ring. Come on. Yeah, we're going to do it to him. We're going to do it to him. Yeah, set him up. Set him up. Pick his balls up. Get his balls. balls. Get his balls. (laughs) Brian Adams, the cops are trying to arrest them. Brian Adams launches a security guard over the top rope. (laughs) And then the cops start mixing them. (laughs) They mace Brian Adams. He doesn't sell it. The commentary goes, oh, I like that, uh, that, that mace. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do with Brian, that? Brian Adams, Brian Adams has care. not started selling this mace You don't know what's going on. The we, guy stops shooting the mace stop and then shoots it again. He goes, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy bastard. Ah, where the balls? <laughs> ah, I gotta do it to him. Stop. <laughs> where are the balls? <laughs> I gotta franchise his balls. <laughs> He's talking to the police. He's talking to the police. You whore. You whore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so we are back backstage canyon is telling david arquette to relax david says they're he's, in the room they're, they're in the, in the room. room again <laughs> yes. yeah but they are <laughs> canyon says bro they're not gonna take the belt back and david says oh man <laughs> imagine what he's gonna do me after what he did to page canyon just leaves he said where are you going oh man i don't know where he's going so we're back in the parking lot, and Kevin Nash is smashing Conan's <laughs> lowrider pickup with a crowbar. <laughs> you need to go back to it. Come on, you we are, beat the we shit had, out of him. We had to go back. <laughs> Conan is out cold in the fucking seat. Ray is hiding underneath the limo. The cops come out arresting Luger and Chronic. <laughs> they, Kevin Nash is smashing vehicles. <laughs> cops don't give a shit. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. The cops don't even care. <laughs> what the fuck? They didn't even try to mace him at all or nothing? No, they just let him go. That's, oh, that's crazy, big sexy. Man. Let that guy go. He's yeah, cool, bro. Yeah, that's all right. That's cool. He's beat up Cisco. Uh, holy <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck. Holy fucking shit. And the hits don't stop there, do they? <laughs> they keep rolling all night long. There's more to come Vampira here. Vampira comes out of the default 2K music, man. Damn it, man. His theme was so sick, too. Yeah. It's one of the coolest theme songs in WCW. It's like, like the him best and, part I of love, Backstage Assault. Him yeah, and Bret Hart were like... Ruled, 
Yeah, those things are awesome. Really cool music. And right. like, uh, yeah. this is legit. I listened to this. I was like, I swear I heard it somewhere. I go, God damn it. This is the 2K. It's 2K music. song. Yeah. It's WB 2K. Um, I wrote, I, this is what I wrote down here. Vampiro talks nonsense. I don't know. Maybe Johnny wrote this one down. <laughs> well, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate that you have the faith in me that I did that. He does. He, he almost says the same thing he says in the grave, right? He says, thing. <laughs> oh, I here it goes. I live for that kind of fear. I'm your anti-hero. I have decided your destiny and sealed your fate. I'm the freak and the monster that you should have been. Tonight, Sting found out that I am the one and only true darkness. And then the Man, lights go out. <laughs> shut the hell up. <laughs> you smell that. <laughs> Cut my fucking music. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. Hit the music. Cut it off. <laughs> uh, lights go out. That's the a good gimmick. <laughs> That's a good gimmick. Just... North Carolina Pro, there's gotta be someone that goes, hit my music. Please. They hit it. Cut, cut the fucking music <laughs> off, man. Why are you gonna shit so loud? I'm trying Turn it down. Talk. I'm trying to think here. <laughs> my music. Turn it up. Turn that shit up. It's like a tag team. <laughs> cut, the, cut our music. Put our music on now. <laughs> face. So Ugh, the lights uh, my head go hurts out. a lot. The Big lights style. are going around. There's a crow on the truss. I'm very impressed that this crow stayed on this truss, by the way. No way, man. That crow was dead three days ago and they were doing some <laughs> puppeteering with that was. shit. Guaranteed. They say that the crow means that he has risen from the dead. Sting? Is that what that always meant? That's what that means, of course. Sting it does. must have fucking died a lot and came back a well, lot. Sting <laughs> almost fucking went to the hospital here. Sting comes down from the rafters very quickly and almost blows his ankles out on the ring steps. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, this yeah. was fucking horrifying, man. Yeah, Sting comes down, man, uh, hits the steps, Ooh, takes whoa. off the gear. Now he's kicking Vampire's <laughs> ass in the Nikita Lions fit. That man's got to... <laughs> <laughs> that man, it's oh crazy. God, right. Hit my music. Right. Dude, Sting whoops his ass, leaves, gets back in the ring, and whoops his ass some more. The lights go out, and Sting just leaves. <laughs> what the fuck oh is happening? Oh my god. As Sting said, fuck you, man. This angle sucks. Fuck you, man. This is crazy, man. Anyways, fuck it. Three point on a bitch like Dirt No Whiskey. We are here. Shot Stasiak. Stasiak. Yeah. He's Let's still go. open. They are not keeping, live. They're not keeping tabs on what number he's at or anything. No they way. Scott keep... Hudson said like 5,432 <laughs> like or something. I believe him. Yeah, that's, that's true. Real that's real shit true. right that's there. Shoot right Shouts there. Shouts out the WNBA, man. Yeah, of that's course. That's crazy. Uh, so we go backstage after this. Uh, Russo finds Liz backstage and yells at her. This is the women's locker room he barges into. And she goes, ah! Get, she smacks the dog <laughs> shit out of her and says, get the yeah, fuck out of here. You don't own me. And he just leaves. He says, okay, all right. <laughs> He's like, all right, you got, that. you got that. Yeah, you're right about that You one. got me there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, next up, we have uh, Tank Abbott versus David Arquette. <laughs> What the fuck <laughs> is that? There are so many your next signs just spelled wrong. <laughs> My uh, next. <laughs> where the hell is Goldberg? He's busy. Oh, shit. He's, he's on the 3,000 miles away on this set of Graceland. <laughs> uh, so our what was that show back then that was super popular? Uh, Femme Nikita. With, nah, I mean, that show was popular. Silk but, Stockings. Uh, nah, it was the other 90210. one. Uh, the, the other one it had uh, uh chuck norris in it walker oh, uh, texas ranger walker texas walker, ranger, texas yeah, ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that show kicked ass no, he man. Was... everyone that was a family uh, diamond right there my passed down generation to generation everybody <laughs> in my family watched walker texas ranger <laughs> Is that, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> if you live in North Carolina, you watch walker texas ranger i do not care that's fair that's real shit man. what was the I, show I... that goldberg did 
Oh no. He Law was, and Order SVU. Yes, he's on crack. <laughs> <laughs> he's throwing chairs and shit. Dude, yeah. ah! he's a crackhead on Law and Order, and he destroys like a police station. Holy What's shit! The I never saw that. What the hell? It was SVU, right? I think right? so. Yeah, I think so. That's. Uh, I remember that episode a lot. I watched. I've probably seen every episode of SVU 100,000 fucking times. Goldberg thousand. on crack beating up cops is Whoa. awesome. He should have just did that in WCW. Maybe that is what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah That's really. exactly what he was doing, actually. Yeah, maybe you're right. He was also in the movie Universal Soldier The Return. You guys ever heard of that one? No, what year We've was that? We've seen out? The Longest Yard in Santa Slay, yes. but we have not seen Universal Soldier The Return. What year was that? Uh, that was 1999. The star is in that? The star is in it. All um, the stars are here. <laughs> Five percent are Rotten Tomatoes. That's so you awesome. Know it's, popping it's Goldberg crazy. month. I heard. Uh, it says Whoa. Universal Soldier: The Return <laughs> fails on almost every level, from its generic story to its secondary action and subpar performances. It's either now, that why would or the, you say that shit. Either that or that Kurt Angle movie we were talking about. Dude, he's in the. Look at this. Let me see. Look at this. This crazy ass. Which one is Goldberg? You think? <laughs> <laughs> is that John Claude Van Damme in the front? Uh, yes, it is. John Holy Glove Van Damme. Holy <laughs> shit. Goldberg. <laughs> this is that a big uh, That ain't Goldberg. That ain't him. That's Horace. That guy? <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking <laughs> crazy, bro. So we go to wow. this match here. Arquette comes out. He just throws the world title down next to the stairs. No regard. Uh, the referee immediately throws Canyon out. Uh, Arquette's trying to get some offense on Tank Abbott, jumping on his back, but Tank Abbott's having none of that shit. He uh, double goozles him, picks him up over his shoulders, and spine busters him. Arquette gets up, goes to spear Tank Abbott, but falls over as he hits him. All of a sudden, an ambulance arrives. That DDP is driving. No one seems to have any questions about this. <laughs> no, they're just like, all right, hey, here he is. Oh, DDP's here. <laughs> DDP's here. DDP. DDP's music hits. Bischoff sends Jarrett to go after him. We come back. And DDP is hitting a diamond cutter on Tank Abbott. It doesn't like <laughs> catch it. Yeah, you can see it on the the TV. You can see <laughs> him in the yeah. In the yeah ring. You're right. You're right. It tries to cut back, and it, it just can't. It's it can't just worry. the very we'll end of the diamond cutter. More times, don't worry. That's true. DDP puts David Arquette on top of Abbott, and David Arquette gets the win. Did you know? I think David Arquette is three and one in WCW. That is his career record. And a world he, champion. And a world he, champion. He hates being the champion and also loves it depending he can't on stop. where he's at. He can't stop. <laughs> That's fucking insane, man. Uh, DDP carries David Arquette out of the ring and carries him in the most dangerous way possible off of the apron and almost blows his ankles <laughs> oh, out. Rings his ass. Fuck Balls. you, man. That's crazy. Fucking crazy, man. Hit my fucking music. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Turn that shit off. <laughs> Turn the music. <laughs> Uh, so backstage, uh, Scott Steiner has attacked Jeff Jarrett. Fucking hell, he's whooping his. That was that's why Jeff Jarrett didn't come out because Steiner started whooping uh, his ass. He stopped him from making the save. It all makes sense now. It yes. all makes sense. He beat yeah. the shit out of him too. He throws him over shit. Throws him into the soda machine. What was that? Uh, so Sean Stasiak still hooping. <laughs> he's hooping. He's about to he's make still perfect hooping. history. Do you know he's what the one number? One shot away. One it shot was, away. The the record is. Uh, 5,221 at this point. So he was about to hit 5,222. So he tied the record. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, he's in the record book. So we we I'm heard it that's here. That's a great co accomplishment. Anyway. I love that he tied it. That's actually incredible that he tied it. <laughs> like, they, they won't mention that. The haters will say it was fake. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Kurt Hennig attacks him from behind. <laughs> Do you think Kurt Because Hennig, he holds the record. Kurt Hennig is standing there watching the whole time all 5,221 shots. <laughs> He's just sitting there. Dude, you ever seen a picture of Tanahashi behind the wall? <laughs> That's Kurt Hennig at the Y. Watching from, He's in the other court. He's like, what's going he, on over here? He attacks him and dumps all the balls on him and then leaves. <laughs> That's Wait, crazy, man. You want to know what the real free throw record was? Currently or then? Uh, so look at this guy. This guy. What? His name was no Tom way. Avery. <laughs> <laughs> this old dude. It got beat out in 2017, but he had it from, uh, or maybe it wasn't, but he uh, he had it at the age of 71, 2,750. Look, man, because only old white dudes are trying to break the free throw record. Look at this dude. <laughs> Sean Stasiak wow. definitely had this guy beat, man, for sure. He, oh, he, yeah, he, he at least tied 12 him. hours. Wow. Well, Sean Stacey got a 5,000. <laughs> is, this, is this in a row? Yeah. Uh, over the span of 12 hours, this guy did. I don't know if it was like he could take a break or not. but Oh, if you could take a break, that shouldn't count. This dude broke the record when plumbers were playing basketball <laughs> professionally. <laughs> Sean Stasiak tied that. Is that listed there? 
Yeah. No, it's yeah. not listed. Is that Wait, on Wikipedia? What? Can you edit that in? <laughs> not listed? I can't, man. And source they, this episode of WCW, please. They have a free throw record website of the basketball free throw world well, record doesn't holders. sound very This is exactly what I would imagine org. the recordholders.org website would look like. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of text. Just a bunch of lines. And Sean Stasiak is not listed on this. This so. is bullshit. I'm emailing them. I'm. It says, please contact us, and I will. <laughs> you need to because this is just horse shit. This is malarkey. Ted St. Martin. Fuck you, Ted. Bitch. Yeah. You whore. Hit my music. <laughs> <laughs> or don't. <laughs> no one's beaten that record since 1996. What the fuck? Yeah, we'll see at the next DBW show who beats yeah, that record. I think so. Someone coming Time out. to take your ass out, Jacksonville, Florida. We're going to Jacksonville, North Carolina and <laughs> whip your ass. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> It's free throws. Who wants to do this shit, man? Sean Stacey, yeah, you should have broke the slam dunk record. You should have hit him with the fucking... You should have broke the slam ball record. Oh, my God. Done. Sean Stacey should have invented slam ball here. That would have been awesome. I think you're right. That would have been sick as fuck. Slam ball yeah, Sean Stacey. Here. I would have got over. Dude, that show kicks so much fucking ass. How does that not I can't... get a single video game? I, I actually it's don't unbelievable. know. That's, um, that's like a video game in real life, man. That shit, I remember I was, every time it came on, I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Sports like, have I wish evolved. We could, yeah, I feel like we, I was like, man, I hope we can do this one day in real life. Like, I thought it was like, you yeah. know, like not like a realistic thing that you could do. It was I, I guess like they have like places in real life where you can like. I think, yeah, I think it's just like a. Trampoline places. Yeah. That seems super fucking dangerous. It's time for the main event. Hulk Hogan. On paper, this sounds crazy. This is a crazy fucking match. Hulk Hogan, Terry Balea style versus Mike Awesome. Mike Awesome style. Mike Alfonso Holy style. Holy shit. This match should have never happened ever in existence. Ever. Hulk, they should have never been in the same no. company together. Hulk Hogan comes out here in a zebra bandana. And that's how you know things. It's Terry Balea. Things are looking up. Hogan also gets afraid of his own pyro. <laughs> he like, <laughs> the pyro goes off. He's like, whoa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Hogan says this, he has shit written, he has TCB on his <laughs> vest, and he looks at the camera and says, taking care of Balea from here on out, dude. <laughs> yeah, he, from here on out. And he's never to, has he taken care of Balea. <laughs> never once. Never it, is, it, is, it is time for me to look out for myself <laughs> in this business. He's never once looked out for himself <laughs> in his whole career. <laughs> and he's always talked about everybody TB. else. <laughs> and he points to his back and he says, the NB stands for new blood you got to figure out what f u stands for <laughs> holy shit that is an iconic line that that's I remember. a great <laughs> fettuccine <Fun> alfredo <laughs> oh, for... <laughs> that's what that stands for f u and that's what they can't have dude f u n b you yeah. are insane yeah. you are insane someone said this is so good hulkster you keep this up this you is a great this. gimmick <laughs> TC Bolea, this is awesome. <laughs> I will take care of me from now on. Fuck you. He's never Fuck you. I met blood. Shane Douglas was backstage like. <laughs> I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready to set yes. up his balls. <laughs> <laughs> Line them up and I will knock them down. What are you even talking about, Douglas? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? Stop talking to me. In my music and then turn it off. Awesome starts taking it to Hogan. Hogan just blatantly turns around and low blows him. <laughs> just right in front of the ref. They talk about Mike Awesome having been a world champion in another organization here. Uh, what that was? FMW, I think. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> awesome starts beating Hogan with the buckle of his own weight belt. He's choking him with the belt. Uh, Hogan throws Awesome into the ring post, starts whipping him. Hogan back suplexes Awesome on the floor. I could not believe that he did that. I was... Stunned Whoa. that he fucking he went. was actually kind of bumping this episode really enough. He went through a table earlier. Yeah, that was nuts. Uh, awesome hits a slingshot splash from the apron onto Hogan's back for a two count. Hogan immediately gets up and double goozles Awesome and beats his ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was too stiff, brother. Watch my back, dude. I'm looking out for me. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> TCB. <laughs> I'm TCB and right now. Holy he got, like no salt immediately and double goozle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Shivani says, Hulk Hogan, Terry Balea, whatever you want to call him, is on a mission tonight. <laughs> okay. Man. There's a big sign in the crown in orange that says fart. I assume that was uh, one of us. <laughs> yes. Billy Kidman uh, is here. 
Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Billy Kidman goes to hit Hogan with a chair. Hogan catches him and hits him with a chair instead, and then flips him off very aggressively. Uh, Eric Bischoff is in the ring arguing with the ref. Kidman gets on the top rope, jumps off with a chair, and hits Hogan in the head with the chair. What the fuck? That's got to have a name, right? Just uh, like the Tanaka or whatever. The all if you want to call it the yeah. awesome. New, New yeah. Jack would do the top rope dive with the chair onto somebody laying down, and it was the one eight seven. But I don't know if it had a name. I nah, no way. If they're standing like that, yeah, I don't know. That's the Tanaka that's like the Mike mind. Awesome yeah. or the Tanaka. Yeah, yeah. like because Awesome would always hit Tanaka. You know with what? You're shit. right. Yeah, I guess it should and be the fuck. Awesome instead of the Tanaka. But Tanaka is the only one that would take he did that it. shit. And Awesome's there. He's yeah, there. You're right. You think Awesome's yeah. like, yeah, hey, I got this cool spot. I want you to hit Hogan <laughs> with this big style. Probably Hogan is fucking bleeding. By the way, coast uh, to coast, man, right in front of the camera, too. <laughs> yeah, just gigs in front um, of the yeah, camera. Yeah, very blatantly. He's like, Look at me, brother. I'm taking care of business. <laughs> yeah, that's here. crazy, bro. <laughs> Dude. Just, and then CCB, brother. And awesome. fucking just gigs. <laughs> Dude, this is for the business and for me. That's crazy. So they roll him back in. Awesome covers him. One, two, three. Mike Awesome Holy just bends him. Holy shit. What? Couldn't the believe hell? it. New blood, baby. So Awesome and Kidman are celebrating. Hogan is taking care of Belay. <laughs> TCB. Hogan gets back in, hits them both with chairs. Uh, Shivani says, stay with us. We're not done yet. Hogan is in the ring. He cleared the ring. Someone in a sting mask shows up as Hogan hits the referee <laughs> with a chair. <laughs> Why do you hit the ref with a chair? I was what like, oh, fuck, fuck. Who's this? The person unmasks. I said, oh, I don't. Is that like. Is that Shane Helms? Who the fuck is that? Turns out security is chasing this man. It is a fan. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. A fan gets chased out of the ring. Hogan standing in the ring confused. And then 10 pounds of blood pour down no, from the ceiling. Red liquid. Oh, <laughs> red liquid. <laughs> and dread, dread, they, it knocks Hogan off of his feet. <laughs> How hard red the liquid. blood hits him. Sorry, red liquid. <laughs> Hogan gets blood bathed. Right next to a fan, brood almost bath, getting it. Brood bath, yes, you know. Kidman and Awesome jump Hogan, and then Buff Bagwell, the Wall, and the franchise come out to also <laughs> beat up Bro. Hogan. <laughs> what Bro. the hell did you just say? <laughs> so it is Billy Kidman, cool. Mike Awesome, Buff Bagwell, the Wall, and Shane Douglas are all stomping out Hulk Hogan, <laughs> who has just been drenched in ten pounds of red liquid after gigging in front of the camera. Oh, Eric Bischoff is putting up. Eric Bischoff it cuts to Bischoff putting up his fist on the stage in, in solidarity um, and the show ends nation style <laughs> yeah nation style and then it ends oh my fuck this is the most oh, fucked shit. up show ever man I don't understand that is the craziest bunch of people all together beating Hogan's ass this is un Oof. start to finish this was a roller coaster of vomit <laughs> dude they Canvases cost like a thousand dollars. They ruined and this they were thing. running every through week. these things every single week. They did the week blood day. angle like every Monday. It was a new yeah. blood, brother. They were that's how did they even uh, crazy, bro? How were they even getting canvases made that? They quick? do this. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. nuts, man. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Hogan will not be getting a bath for a week now. Of course, you <laughs> can't. Show Nobody can. Bloody. Bloody. You bastard. Yeah. Fuck, uh, dude. Uh, what a show, man. My head hurts really bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That was. That really sums it up. My head hurts really bad. That was WCW <laughs> Nitro, May 1st, 2000.